Hello, Town of Granby Conservation Commission um, at the seniors. Come on, in Granby, Mass. Uh, for the uh, meeting for July 9th, we'll come to order at 7:03 p.m. And we will start with building and board of health application. Is there anybody here with a building or board of health application? Yeah, building permit. Okay, come on up. And your name, please. Excuse your name, please, so I can. Oh, George Sexton. Okay. Names that go around and get it signed. Go around and get it signed. Okay, what's the. Oh, we have. Yeah, who's got it's a. Uh, We're looking it up safety. now. And it's a home. It's a home. Do you have a site plan that you're filing with this? Or what? Describe the problem. Septic. Was it a septic plan? Septic. Okay. And it's a septic from showing where the house is supposed to be. It's, it's on South Street. Actually. Lot three. Hmm? Oh, 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 you bought the lot in between. Oh, good for you. Wonderful. Welcome to the neighborhood. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, it's, it says lot three South Street. I'm not sure what. It's 32, I believe. 32? Great. Oh, good. I have to just double check. That's Galusha's problem. Yeah. The old yeah. Galusha's Yeah, you're next to a tip. Peter Jasinski's right next to you. Yeah, good. Good for you. So you know the, the, the lay of the land? Where? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Okay, anyway. Okay, so. Um, well, there's some wetlands over here, but, but the, all the other systems are there, so I don't think there's any problem. So he's up on the high side. Yeah, or he's on the high side, but see the system's the going side. across the street, yeah, down right. the hill. Okay. But again, there's a bunch of other systems, and you're putting it where the mound is already. Yeah, exactly. So you're gonna. Mound's so all there. the the fill's already in. So, so the fill's no, up. So we're not doing any new that's disturbance. Right. We're that's just right. in the same area. He's, he's just gonna cut in some trenches. That's all. He's okay. So we're not doing. Do any they hard pipe that already, or do they? Yeah. They already installed the septic system. Good. Okay. Well, that's Good. a plus. All right. Do we have a, a motion on the board? Yeah, I move we approve. Uh, Sorry, which spot did you say it was? It's. What number did you say? Yeah, right there? Yeah, the open lot. The open lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing on there. No. On the back side. Yeah, again, the leach field is going to be on the left. <clears throat> That's still not in anything. Or actually, on this picture, it's on the right, actually. That, there's some saying, East isn't it? side. East side, East side, yeah. So, Bill made a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Uh, all right, we'll move along. You're all set. And we will. Thank you. All right. Are there any other um, building and board of health applications? Anyone? Fine. Pass this to Amanda, please. All right. Amanda's concerned. Yep. No, 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 you can take Thank you. Do you have any uh, good commentary, any stuff we need to put out there? Um, we're supposed to have hired or in the process of hiring an assistant, okay. a combo planning board conservation person. Ooh. However, the RFP hasn't even gone out yet. Oh. How yes. long are the. Uh, so you're all set. Yes, you're all set. You're Watch all your set. step. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. How Watch long the course. Oh, yeah. Thank Let's you. Let's just say the ball is rolling slowly. It's a slow roll. Are we on a uh, no gravity zone flat well, plane? We're, we're, on the, we're on the verge of not having enough uh, horsepower to. Move ahead the way we're supposed to move ahead. Okay. Let's put it that Anything way. else for commentary? No. Oh, I need this. All right, I'm going to post the next meeting. Oh, my goodness, I need stronger bifocals. That's what I did. I went down to Ocean State and I bought like 10 pair of all <laughs> different magnifications. All different magnifications. Oh, yes. I'm about ready to do that. So we're going to post the meeting for July 23rd. Um, at 7 p.m. at this location in Grammy Mass. Any minutes to approve? Or are we still not on minutes? The minutes are on videotape. Ah, I'll yeah. say minutes are on videotape for anyone's public perusal. Alex, you've been uploading to YouTube? Yes. Yeah. So okay. then we're all set. Very good. All right. Any bills? I'm sorry. Let me go through this real quick. Okay. This was. DCR, sign-in sheets, minutes, force cutting plans.
it's all ancient. That's what I'm saying. It appears that, that, yeah. that's the problem we're having without having an administrator. Well, I know person. That's, yeah. that's the problem. All right. that's and, the problem. Uh, to our knowledge, we don't have any bills. I do not see any uh, bills or invoices okay. at this time. All right. Uh, we don't worry about financial accounts. I did not see anything in this. We looked at it last week. All right. Uh, why is number six still on the agenda? Pro approve renewal. They're new. There's new ones? Yeah. It's the, the, oh, it's the new, ones. new year. Okay. So yeah. do we want to um, pick a site visit day? I think we actually have other pressing site visits, okay. including Forge Pond Dam. All right, so we will um, put, actually, you know what we'll do is we'll put it on hold and we'll yeah, see. Yeah, let's table out. those for a couple of and weeks. And we'll table it. So, because I'd like to get those done while the weather's kind of cooperating. Kind of cooperating before we go one way or the other. Do we have any outreach, educational, or print of the week? Well, we actually have Critter of the Week. Oh. Um, you know, blue Spotted Salamander. Really? Blue Spotted? Have you seen any? Yeah, right behind my house. Nice. Did which was really weird. Photos? Did you send them which was really to the weird. Oh yes, oh yes. Wow. Right, Kev. Right. What's that? Blue spotted salamander behind my house. I don't know. Actually, I put them behind I my. I thought you had a number out there. No, no, no. Keeping the house. And put them out. No, actually, I put them behind. I put them under the solar panels where it's nice and moist and, <laughs> and shady. Are you establishing the population? Only one. One rogue. One rogue character has okay, shown that, up. That, that doesn't help you. You need a little more than one, you know. No, one, one is plenty. One is enough. Okay, just let you know. So. All right, so any ZBA? Notices, yes. Oh, I have several here. I'll read in real quick. Okay. Uh, received today uh, a site permit and site plan review by the planning board for uh, an approval of the applicant, CPV Red Rock Solar LLC, owner, J N J L N Properties LLC, 5 Lion Street. That's the Jim the Rocky gravel mm -hmm. pit. Yep. Uh, yeah, in time bond. We, uh, we, base, we, basically, it's from the planning board. Yeah, we permitted them That's about already three been months ago. Okay, so, so, so well, I'm just making a note that we did, planning board has appeared to approve it. Okay, so they're And there's their conditions, process. so. Right. Sure. And today is 7, 9. Okay. I also have here a planning board special permit and site plan review denial for Borrego Solar Systems Inc. for the property owner of Breezy Acres LLC and this property is located at Zero Kendall Street. Okay. Uh, it says it's a denial and uh, we reason. received on May 23rd. Did you guys read this in last time? No, because no. it didn't it didn't get through planning board about three months ago. That's, okay, so that's I'll just, old news. That's old news. That's okay. old news. All right. It's it's dated here May twenty third, received K and R. Yeah, we haven't even reviewed so that. So I'm gonna make a note that we read that in. Okay. And today is seven nine nineteen. This open space I think we reviewed last time. Okay. And we're uh, that appears to be it. Okay. No news, or I would assume any announcements are already been made. Site visits will table till later, so I'm going to put a hold on that. All right, and that picks us to 7-Eleven. News announcements, site visits. So before we move in so that we give enough time for everyone else, we don't have to worry about, are we going to just continue the Certificate of Compliance for Children's First? Yes. Okay, so we are going to continue the uh, certificate of compliance for children's first. Um, do we have any information about Seven Phillips Circle? I do not. No, no information for that. All right. How well, about actually, some commentary. Okay, good commentary. Um, I've been contacted by Mr. Stinson from DEP. Okay. And he really wants us to continue pursuing the enforcement on that project. He does. N namely, I believe Amanda. Actually, the three of us. Ed, were you out there? We did. Oh, we were there. We were all, yeah, we were we were all, all there. there. He cut a number of trees in the wetland, correct? Yes. And I think Mark was alluding to the fact that we'd uh, require him to replant some trees for the to offset the ones that were cut. Do we ever get the official delineation on that? No. No. Alan Weiss did a delineation. Okay. We did a walk around, and based on performance over the <coughs> spring period, okay. and just observations I drive by there from time to time okay. it seemed to be 
reasonably okay. okay. However, Mark did reiterate that in accordance with the. Because uh, there were a lot of trees that were like suffering coming back. Are they suffering? If there's something yes. out there, you remember we saw a bunch yeah. of them? Yeah. Like, yeah. That was yeah. identified. Yeah. Well, well, for, for what it's worth, Nick put up a bunch of bird, uh, bluebird houses. So I think he's anticipating. Well, that as long we're as he do doesn't something. cut back the suckers. That's right. Did, did they'll come back. They'll come back on the, the, the line. Yeah, but but again, we'll we'll okay. revisit that. We got plenty of other enforcements okay. to take care of. But that's cool. just a heads up on that. So that might be something you might want to when we get a little later in the season to yeah. continue drive by on. Okay. How about ninety eight Cold Hill? Ninety eight Cold Hill. I was in contact with uh, Dave Fowlis last week. I went on a site with, visit with Wenda the week before. Okay. Uh, it appears, again, I didn't survey this, Ed, but it appears around 2,500 square feet of disturbance. He put the road 135 feet south of its proposed location yeah. in accordance difference. with the plan. Big difference, big difference. Okay. And he put a different culvert in and a different culvert configuration. Fowlis and I agreed to make him move it back to the original location would cause more harm than doing something in lieu of that. So again, I think we're going to uh, have Mr. Uh, Collette come in, okay. maybe do some sort of restoration and do some tree planting. I thought we were doing was it an amendment or is it an enforcement? No, no, no. It's an enforcement. I talked to Dave, but he, okay. says, he says, forget the amendment, forget the NOI. This is clearly now enforcement territory. Yeah. So yeah. that's where we are. With well, that. well, the we problem is if, gonna, is if you do the enforcement, let them keep the culvert there. He's gonna have to come up with some drawings that are engineered. Probably. That's part of the enforcement. That'll be yeah. part of the, okay. and again, he reiterated with the enforcement, okay. make sure we get a real good set of uh, benchmark, timeline benchmarks, and make sure that he abides by the benchmarks. Just like we did with uh, Mr. Fugler, Kevin, and he did a couple of years ago. Have and some it, benchmarks, and you abide by those benchmarks. When, when do you want to send that official enforcement out? <clears throat> well, because. We, don't have a we just, to... there's nothing that's been sent out to him. Not yet, not, not yet. yet. No. So yeah, we're going to have to do something. Do you want to put it on for next? Let's put it on for next meeting. Okay, so and, we'll put 98. And I'll invite uh, Colette to come back in. Were you here the day he chatted I, with I us? I was. Ed? Yeah. I thought you said he was going to come in this week. And you said oh. he was going to come in last meeting. I think mean, it's been kind of like that. I know we met him on site, though, two weeks ago. Okay. I, I don't think he needs to be here for the enforcement. Part. No, I mean, I mean, we could just he, write he the enforcement. He did. He did come in. He did come in about a month ago. One of the meetings. Uh, a month he did. Ago, he did. Yeah. Yeah. You, you weren't. Yeah, you I think it was. But, yeah. I think we need just do. If if you're gonna do the enforcement, <coughs> maybe just do the paperwork, and then he can come in at the next meeting. But the bottom line is, he's gonna have to hire a consultant or engineer to uh, put that document together for him. Okay. Anyway, that's it. It's fine. 307 Chickaby okay. Street Enforcement. Yep. What do we got for that? No idea. That's, is that the solar panel? That's the solar yeah, panel. The solar panel. Yeah, Amanda's been keeping they up were on convey, that they, 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 The uh, Kestrel Trust. Kestrel Trust conveyed a portion of their land to this guy. So yeah, they, they, they don't own the land. Land on the swap. And I don't, know if, I don't know what the wetlands look like over there. You guys were up. <laughs> Amanda, you were there. I mean, I, I went up there. Right up, and then it's the silicon. And um, what was it? Uh, Stinson had been watching it. And on Google. Looked at it on Google Earth. And Google Earth. Not happy. He was like, this would never happen. So he thinks that the whole thing should be taken out and destroyed. Th that's it's, it's if that's his. Thing. That's what the, the enforcement State orders. Yeah. Because yeah. what are we so doing? We have to, obviously, that will be it's another enforcement. But that's so the enforcement order that will be reviewed by DEP. Um, obviously, they're going to be. They'll be kept in the loop. Okay. Shadowing kept, this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So then we have the final one. So we got to write Hill. these. Have we written Fairy Hill yet? No. I don't even know what that one's about. Yeah, you guys went out there, didn't you? Yeah, Fairy Hill. Um, yeah. So basically, they had someone come in to help kind of the landscape, so they would have different areas and horses, and the person who did the grading. They did do some things where they had some extra stone going around at the different terraces. Did it break or nothing? Well, no, not at the resource area, but they 
did it to prevent all of the sand from washing out of the, the different grains for the horses. So okay. they had like heavy gravel around that area to keep it from just washing out. Okay. So that was a good thing, but of course the disturbed area is below that and it just yeah. Okay. So there is definitely some impact that needs to be addressed. Okay. They said they would look through the consultant, but they never got back to the hmm. Okay. So, so again the same order need to, need to write out one two yeah. We're looking at four currently right now. Kevin, do you know that's Eddie, Eddie Parker's old lot, correct? One of Eddie's old lots? On the left, on the east side. Yes. Of yes. Yep. You don't know the homeowner. It's either it's either 59 or 60. What, what number is that? I think it was 59. I think it's 59. 59 Ferry yes, Hill. It's one of the long, the long driveways. Yes, one of the long driveways. There's two or three long driveways. Anyway, that's on the laundry list as well. Yeah, so we have a total of four. Total of four right now. So far. So far. <laughs> all right, so right now we have gone through all of our administrative duties. Anybody coming late who has a building or board of health permit? Any board of health permits, anything? Mm -hmm. All right, so right now we have uh, 11 minutes till we can do our first uh, appointment and public hearing. Let's schedule site visits All if right. we could. We can um, do that. Dave, I apologize we hadn't gone out there, but I think we'd like to get two commissioners to go on site with you for the dam, uh, the, the tree cutting exercise out there. Okay, I guess. Uh, well, we, are, is this part of the meeting? Well, um, technically, if we schedule site yeah, visits. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you Why don't you wait, Dave? Oh, yeah, so yeah. You if you would, yeah, you, yeah, you're, you're on it. You're on at seven thirty. Seven thirty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we don't want yeah. to start. Yeah, I was just trying. To, I was just yeah. trying to fast track this. No, I over fast track. Well, you can you can talk about your site visit. Well, here's here's the question: When do we all have a, a period um, that we can do site visits? It's our business. You know, Kev, I was thinking of going to that two fifty nine Amherst Street with you right now. Well, Rob. Do you guys mind if I take off for a few minutes? We have Let's enough see. commissioners. But don't you want two people there? Yeah. Well, well all right, all right. See, now that's the next question. That's so, the person, what's the next available time slot for all of us? <laughs> Not this time of the year. See, that's the problem. Yeah. This is my. I've, I've been taking care of my mom's estate. On yeah. The well, I know. It's, 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 Amanda, she's driving to Haverhill every day. Maybe on Sunday. Dave Parson. So I have. Like a sunny Sunday is not a good day for I, me. That's my only day we take see, off. See, that's, the that's that's the that's the family day because we're full yeah, swing. Yeah. I can do in terms of reality checks. Most of the time, I can do early morning, but y'all are all like, I even afternoons I can't do because I never know when a job's gonna finish. So if I get everything, like today, I got my ducks all in a row, and bang, we were done last time. So, so you couldn't do like 6, 6 p.m., that wouldn't work? No, that's the hardest time of the day, because if my husband's out for estimates, I, I have to be home for the kids. I, I can do, I could probably do a 6 p.m. Yeah, I can't do during a 6 the week, During the week would be easy, because I'm usually can, home can, at 5. Can, can you? Amanda, when are you typically home from Eastern Mass? It changes, but I can, I can adjust. You want to try maybe, how about tomorrow night, maybe? That's tomorrow, Wednesday? Yeah. I should be okay. Thursday, I can't do Thursday. Okay, check can, you, can you do tomorrow? Kev, yours will take about two minutes. And Dave, can we do maybe, yours tomorrow, maybe, possibly? Uh, tomorrow is not a good day. See, see, that's, see, this is the problem, trying to get these damn things. All right. What, what, what time tomorrow? Well, it would be, if we do you at 6, we'll be you maybe at 6.15 at your place, at Forge Pond. Uh, all right, why don't, why don't we do it? 6.15, is that what you said? 6.15 tomorrow, yeah. Okay. Well, well, it's, well the subcommittee is not discussing anything about this. We're just observing. No, so, do, do, they, do they need to even be there? Well, I think, I think Dave has to, he has to show us what they plan to do for uh, yeah, removal. Yeah, because you, you're doing the phase two study. No, we're, I guess there's some confusion there. I'm not doing any phase two yet. Okay. The town has an offer. <clears throat> this is something that was attached to the original phase okay. one that you had recommended some, some time ago. Sure. Okay. 
Yeah, back back about two years ago, actually, I marked. I mean, two twice I marked the trees uh, uh, to be cut. I I forget who showed up from the conservation commission to, to look at it, but you know at that time there were no issues. Uh, uh, and then the town since has appropriated money to do the, the tree cutting, and, and uh, I guess Dave the, the Roche five would fall under his general uh, order. Well, the permit, yeah, the general N O I, yeah, yeah. Uh, So on, we'll take a chance. Kev, we'll be at 259 Amherst Street at 6 o'clock. And we'll be over at Forge Pond at 615, come hell or high water tomorrow. Okay, that'll, that'll be good. I have, okay. to, I have to be, actually, I'm, I'm not too far away uh, tomorrow, but I, I need to be there by 4 to 7. <coughs> okay, so that, that's good. 615 at, you want me to take two seconds? And this is a nothing site. The only reason we're doing it. You're doing, we're doing the COC for you, yeah. right, Kev? Okay, okay. So would you have the um, order of conditions with you on site tomorrow so we can just take a look at it? Yeah, there's, there's no special site. But do you have the site plans? Oh, you do? Okay, come on up Good. quickly, Kev. Okay, this is the Street. Yeah. Yeah, we looked at this last time. Yeah, this is Amherst. All yeah. which is over here. Yeah. It's the second house. Yeah. Septic's outside the 100 feet. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's so, backyard so, is, uh, here's the house. So the only work was putting a well in, and that was it. Yeah, that's right. All right, okay, that should I mean, take yeah, two you seconds. Like the oh, nice lawn, okay. Okay, yeah. all right, we'll see you it's tomorrow stable. then. Okay. That's good. What's Thank the address you. on that? 255. Five on Amherst. Okay. Amherst Street. I will have a problem being there, but I'll get the I'll notify the, the owners. Okay. Can I take a look at that? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to take a snapshot of it that way. If you don't show up, so at least we got it. At least got that scheduled. Yeah, it's pretty simplistic. And we are concentrating on basically. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Fowler says he'd send some a, a template. Remember a few years ago we had a template, enforcement template? Yes. He's supposed to resend that. It's not part of the DEP uh, I don't think it's forms on, and I, permits? I, no, no, no. That's kind of a separate thing. Oh, I did talk to um, I talked to Fallis about the, the fee simple land exchange mm -hmm. for Munsing Ridge. Sure. And he agrees with us that we can indeed do a conservation restriction, of which he has some pretty good language on. So he's forwarded the language to Donnie uh, well, Frederick. Yeah, isn't that part of the... Yeah, the, 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 yeah. It's going to be a little more laborious to do a conservation restriction, but we avoid a lot of the liability by owning it outright. So I think that's a smart move for the, on behalf of the town. Oh, is this your neighborhood? Oh yeah, there's the old gas station. Did it? it yeah, oh, my father. You and your dad stamped this one. It all blends into one. <laughs> it's it's been quite a long time. No, he's my dad. Well, they filled wetlands on that. Wow. That, I think, is the same connection, connection to the other side of the road. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what year was that? Oh, wow. Okay. All right, what's the TM call? 729. All right, it's close enough. Once. We're close enough. It's 830. There you it's, go. 730. It's 30 somewhere. <laughs> Okay, let me. One minute. I don't think anyone's gonna have them. All right, so we're gonna uh, see. Look, seven thirty in the dot. So we're gonna continue on to our appointments and public hearings. Uh, we're gonna begin with the continuation for an RDA filed by the Department of Conservation and Recreation to see whether the work depicted on plans referenced is subject to the Wetlands Protection Act. Regards to property located at Green Meadow Lane in the town of Grammy. Do we have anyone here for that particular RDA? No? Okay, so we will. Um, I move and continue. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so we're going to continue that one. And then we're going to move on to RDA filed by uh, David Parson, uh, DBA Orchard, Orchards. Uh, golf club to see whether the area depicted on the plan and or map is referenced is in the area substitute jurisdiction under the Wetlands Protection Act with regards to property located at West State Street and known as Map 2A-1 in the town of Granby. And you guys are here. Come on up. Come on up. Your hair's out of place, Dave. <laughs> ready for the camera. Dave's been up since 3 in the morning. I, I, have a, I have a disclosure. I'm a member of the golf course, but I don't think if anyone has any issues with that, I'd like to participate nevertheless. Okay. Okay. Good evening. What do we got? This is Dave Carson, obviously, with, with uh, Orchards Golf Club, and I am Meredith Savage with SWCA Environmental mm -hmm. Um, representing on behalf of Washington's uh, Golf Club. Okay. And we submitted um, an RDA in part um, due to the request of Mark Stinson um, and later David Fallis of PDC because there is an enforcement investigation ongoing on the South Hadley side. And so typically we would not have needed to mm -hmm. submit an RDA because we, there, there were no resource areas on the Randy side okay. of the golf course, nor were we in buffers. So here is the um, right. plan. There's and our you can see property. Here's the, okay. the property line, and um, here is the buffer area. However, we went ahead and did it. And also just so that, I mean, and you have the um, operations and maintenance plan. So the whole purpose of the, on the Granby side, was to submit a notice of intent for ongoing maintenance okay. um, of the golf course, which of course spills over to the Granby side. Okay. And so the operations and maintenance plan that you have is the same that was completed for um, the South Hadley side 
notice of intent. However, um, I have a letter here for you. This is the original, and I don't know if you need any. Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I don't know if you need any copies. Yeah, I had, I had been reviewing this, and, and Dave and I, you and I talked yeah, about this. Yeah. There was a right. typo. They put down, um, SWC stated, a total of two pounds of nitrogen applied to the golf course per year. If yeah. you did two pounds per year, you'd have a hay field out I there. Know, it, yeah. It's two pounds per thousand square feet per year, which is actually on the low side because Very typical agronomy is between two and four and some people actually yeah. kick that up to five so yeah. you're on the efficient side yeah. so I see no problem so with two pounds yeah. per thousand square feet thank you very much Meredith sure. for doing that and so I just wanted to say that I have not I didn't revise the language yet in the I, I see it refers to South Hadley I realize right. that I realize well, and, that. And that's fine but it that's will fine. be so this letter and we're just yeah. asking the commission if you'll accept that in the interim, and then when it is finalized and accepted by DEP, then you'll get the um, revised copy. The RDA itself won't change, just the Appendix A. Okay, okay. Now, are you looking for an, a um, negative two today? Yes. You are today. If, if, um, if that is something that you can do because there are no resource areas, there's no buffer, so the work would not be subject, any work uh, uh, um, happening on the side is, is right. <clears throat> Again, I'm a member of the course, and I think I would prefer a couple of the other uh, members to go out and do site visits. So, would you guys be willing to go out there at some point? If you need not to, I'll, I'll tell you up front, there's no wetland on the Granby side. Uh, it's but, but again, it's the fact that I'm elevation yeah, it's yeah. It's, yeah. it's it's high, it's high. I don't you mean it, as a matter of form? Or? Yeah, just a matter of protocol because, again, I, I, if I'm making the call, I'm a member of the golf course, there's an inherent conflict, and I just want to avoid the appearance of that. Do we have uh, mass GIS with that layer possible? Oh, I yes, yeah. I'm having some real issues. Okay, not stuff, a problem. Because the internet's not working, so I need my help. Yeah, it doesn't show up on the mass um, GIS. Then. I have so. disconnected from the TV. I, I mean, I'm kind of familiar with that area too I mean I'm not a golfer but I've, I've worked along these houses on the side here and, and uh, I don't ever recall seeing anything in the town of Granby on that side as being wet I know. It's, it's, um, it's the only area for golf course that isn't wet <laughs> yeah because yeah. 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 it's, it's, it's on the high side no, yeah. there's, some ledge, there's some ledge there that's about yeah, it it's all ledge yeah. it doesn't yeah. have the look of anything that would be what? Here's the USGS map, nothing showing up in the corner. Um, the hot spot's not even working, Amanda. Well, She's I having issues. Kev, you want some water? Yeah. You sure? That was part of my email, you know. Getting a cooler up here. Yeah. Okay, let's see. This is from the notice of intent submitted to South Hadley, and this is the DEP. This is the wetland layer, maybe. maybe Turned on. Um, Mass GIS. Yeah, yes, yeah, Mass GIS, yeah. but it's not what you would see on their site because our GIS person made it pretty for the. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. But here mm -hmm. you go, and you can see. Well, um, uh, so we had open water, um, <clears throat> pond, they showed those two ponds, right. and they showed these stream features on right. here. But other than that, they didn't pick up any wetlands. Now, yeah. we picked up, um, or excuse me, I beg your pardon, they picked up this area as a wetland, and you'll see the dark green right. as, as wetlands. And we consequently, as a result of the EP's request and South Hadley, we went out to look at the previous delineation that had been done, and our what we came up with was um, far more extensive. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot yeah. What year was the last delineation done? Oh, I think it was 2014, maybe. Uh, 2000. 
2013. The, the delineation 2009. No, that's right. That's right. Hmm. 2009, hmm. and then they kept hmm. getting approved every three years. Hmm. Yeah, because you had you had a maintenance, you had an yeah. ongoing maintenance. I we think did. I think Matt yeah. didn't uh, oh, so follow through right. with that yeah. at that point. Well, the only reason we were asked to redeliminate was because of an anonymous letter we were asked to redeliminate. Yeah. So yeah. this is Otherwise, our uh, delineation. Mm -hmm. Here is the the DEP site. Mm -hmm. So you can see the DEP only picked up. Where is the? Uh, um, excuse me. I'm gonna go back. This is the DEP's. Okay, so levels. they only picked up the. I'm going to go back to, let's go back to, and here was our delineation. So if you can kind of see, DEP picked up the light green, mm -hmm. the dark green, and the pond futures. Right. That's all they picked up. Mm -hmm. Our wetlands, I mean, our delineation mm -hmm. showed mm -hmm. that it was much more, more extensive. extensive. Right, but I'm not even concerned right. because even with your increase, yeah. even, even the closest point mm -hmm. that you have that wasn't noted on right. here is still... Yeah. Not even in our jurisdiction. It's outside, I, our, jurisdiction. It's outside our jurisdiction. I don't see because uh, even with there's, there's no being problem. more like Yeah. Right. Even with greater it's with it's greater not. detail, it's still not even close. Mm hmm So I'm not mm -hmm. really concerned. Yeah, I'm, again, there's nothing going on there. I don't see a concern. I would be only concerned if we were looking at something where the zone literally yes. touches the line. If it crossed the line, I'm concerned. If it's not crossing the line, I really, I personally don't have a concern. I've, I've done work on those houses up on, was it Bittersweet? Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, I've never seen anything back there walking through. So. Uh, I live right near there. Like, it's all upland. Yeah. yeah, actually, you're looking for a negative one. You're negative looking, one? Yeah, negative one. Yes. Yeah, that's a very rare one. We very Have we ever rarely, done a negative one? you know, we've done a bunch of negative threes and we do some, some negative, negative twos, twos, but this is actually negative one. The area described in the request is not an area subject to protection under the act. Not in our, so no, that's, not in our jurisdiction. Yeah, so that's that's what we're going to we'll do. Another one then. Okay, so in, in, in short, yeah, again, I reviewed it. Everything is fine as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah, we will. Sure, sure. Add some nice artwork to the walls here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Show your negative, you know. Yeah. So, I move that we approve for the orchards a negative one a determination. Again, no area on the project site is subject it's to uh, it, control no under the Wetlands Protection mm -hmm. Act. No, I second that. Second. Okay. okay. All in favor? Uh, All right. That's it. Do we need to type this up tonight, or we can? Type it up at our leisure and send it out. We'll try to fine. Is, is, no that, is that okay? He okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be tough. All right, Dave. We'll, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> okay, Meredith. Thank you very much. All the best. Very good. Thank you for working with us. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you for your time. All right. So. Watch your step. Do you see? Hey, Dave. Is Jimmy Young practice round tomorrow? In the morning, seven to nine. Okay. Oh, 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 I got to. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be out there at 650 then. I know. Yeah, we'll be out there. This morning. We'll be out there at 650. Okay, thanks. Double Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, Tom Lukavich. Kev, is it Mr. Lukavich? Kev, that's your customer, isn't it, Mr. Lukavich? Tomas Lukavich? Yes. Are you working with him? No, anyway. Oh, you're not? Oh, okay. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Very good. So, how can we help you? Okay, I want to explain quickly. Okay, I live on a six by three circle. I'm selling my house and uh, I got a brook. Uh, and leeches are getting clogged by a uh, uh, maple tree. Oh, you're the one that has, you have a triangular leech field. It's, it's unusual. Yeah, yeah, design. yeah. He's got a triangular leech field. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, 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 and you want to remove, so the Board of Health allowed you to remove some branches from the le leach field? Yes, and uh, Greg Everson. Right, okay. I remember this. Gave me a, uh, a guy that would actually not use any, any uh, you know, any equipment with gasoline to go over the brook. Okay. He's going to go and, and just climb the tree and cut a tree. And then he's going to go and... And, and, uh, uh, and there's actually an really to stop. With the RDA for that? Well, well, let's see. Well, yeah, let's see. Amanda, do you have that up? Six uh, Pine Brook? I did apply for that. I can try for that on TV. 
Oh no, we'll just look over your shoulder. Over here, yeah, that'll be fine. Be. And I a actually, you. actually, you know what I could do. I want to chat you in here and then okay. and, and I fill up everything. Okay. Well, you have an HDMI port on your computer? Maybe. Yes. Oh, don't. You have one? I have no idea. Yeah, you do. Right there. This might be. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that USB? No, it's USB. Yeah, don't USB. back up. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I only see USB. <clears throat> no, it's a HDMI. It's the shape. Uh, not that. No. Girls are always in the same place. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Does not have HDMI? All right, well, I do on mine, so we'll use mine. <clears throat> no can do. Okay, so. Bill, I think the problem is that you don't have, we're not going to have an internet connection. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. right. That's right. You're right. What do we got? Hold on now. Okay. Actually, I do have internet now. Hold on. Did you get it? No. Yeah. Yeah. You got excited. No. No. No access. Oh, you can no. No. no Sorry. No internet. Oh, so no internet. No, so no we're internet. No, that's why I'm using my hotspot, which doesn't seem to get Do you have a copy of the... Do you have a copy of the plan? Yeah, Everson had sent me the. I have the copy. Of like, I've got it on my email, but I don't have email. <laughs> I understand. It's not part. It's not in the application. I have, but I have I seen it. That is. I have barely seen it. Seen it. Not long to get you. And Everson sent me. The email I just. It's not usually this bad. Yeah, it won't be with that. Usually, if the bad. Okay. There we go. It's it's on. Again. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Well done. For some reason, I can't use Google Earth. It's not opening. Okay. Well, MassJS is the next best thing. It is. All right. This guy here. It has the lines. Yeah, you can. Well, I can, but as long as it's not it's okay. on the screen. Look over there. So you're not planning on using any machinery to no, cross no, the... No, you know, they decided to actually go and uh, <coughs> climb the tree and climb the branches. Okay, so they're just going to climb and cut. Yes. So, 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 the, so the brook is here? Yes. Somewhere in and your leech field is here? Yes. Ah, that's right. The leech field is right in the corner. Exactly. So, so we're we're going going actually side. using the equipment and, yeah. and, and pull the, uh, the brook yeah. itself. He's gonna climb a tree and then uh, just cut the branches. Oh, so you did file? Okay. So yeah, yes. Did file. Oh, yes, I did. I did. Well, I think we. And I sent everything with Kathy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she did send it to us by email. So it got scanned. Yeah. But there's no plans that were attached to the document. Okay, so you have to do a site visit. I did. I'd, I'd want to see what. Lynn Everson is. sent me a, a, a plan set. And Could yeah. you? Yeah, if I had the email right now, I could <laughs> yeah, send it to you yeah. in two seconds. They was less words. No yeah. problem. Just get one of those Zigbee sticks. You just plug it in. Um, anyway, we got to do a site visit like from us. That's fine. That's Is that okay? Fine. Yes. Um, we're not doing it tomorrow. We're busy tomorrow night. Okay. Um, what, what, what kind of availability? Uh, uh, Is the house under contract to be sold? Yes. Oh, so okay. we get so that's kind of well, critical. Wait, wait. Okay. I don't. It shouldn't take that long. Oh, I know that. We could do that. I don't mind doing that tomorrow. Yeah. If we just say like six to seven. Well, I think we're going to be with, with Dave but for we, a but while. But we can also split off. We don't all have to be at one well, place. All right, we could do that. You want to do yeah. that? That's okay. Well, if we have to. Okay. Because I'm blocking the time out. So. You, uh, yeah, I, th I think we can do it. We okay. can shoot for 6.30 or 6. Actually, from you, Forge you Pond. There? Do Forge there? Pond Dam. You just go down Bachelor's. Yeah, you're right there. there in about five minutes. I got two houses, guys. I live on Trout Lake. Next to achieve. All right, so oh, okay. you could. Oh, okay. okay. You could be there. He, actually, does he have to be there? Well, yeah, he should yeah, be there. Do I have to be there? Yes. Because yeah. I'm at college and high school, the soccer referee, so I got games. Oh, you are. Oh, every good. Day. Very I nice. gave up my game today, guys. To oh, oh, you did to see us. Wow. Well, you want to just. But if is I it, have to be, I can cancel my game. No, no, is no. Is it don't marked? Do that. Don't do that. The activity is the trees marked. The trees all marked. What you're cutting. Uh, I can. I can. Uh, Put some ribbon on them. I have to check it. 
Okay. I have to check it, and I, I, I can call actually Greg. Patty, why don't you get his phone number? And then How about we'll Mr. Call Emerson? Call. Yeah. yeah. Again, I've got Greg's phone number too. Call Call Greg and have him meet. I us. think you should. You should. You, I'll do that. Yeah, exactly. Well, we'll have because Greg there are a few maple trees, in, and I try to figure out which one is it. I'll, I think Greg would probably be the Greg. good choice to see if we can get a hold of him. So if, if we he can, can meet us. Get a hold and meet him for like six thirty-five. All right. 640. And if you guys want to be, want to be there, be what I suspect is going to happen then, right. we'll, we'll all go to the 259 Amherst Street, we'll convene there, then we'll zip over to Forge Pond, okay. we'll talk to Dave for a couple minutes, a couple of us will go into the woods with Dave and look at the trees, and the others can go to uh, Tomaz's yeah. place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'll Get be it good. done. That'll be good. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. So, six, yeah, we'll add it to our list. Add it to our list, 645. Okay. You, Bill, you'll call Mr. Uh, Everson? Yeah, I'll okay. send him a message. Uh, All right. I can't believe we don't have internet again. No internet. Well, folks, we do have one plus tonight. We have air conditioning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we have no Better water. than nothing. So, and, and electricity, yes, what? and electricity. So, yeah, we'll plan that. I'm going to make, we have to ask for continuation because it's best. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna ask, can we continue the hearing to, to the next meeting? For asking you for a continuation. Well, we'll twenty third, July twenty third. Now I gotta tell you guys, my closing uh, uh, date is July twenty fourth. Yeah. Um, okay. I can. And uh, Maria Mason is selling my house. Who? Maria Mason. She's a local realtor. Okay. Uh, oh, she's on the lane Yeah. So. Yeah. Why don't we do no, this? No, I did you, want to, you want to do yeah. this? You want to do this? We'll type up the form two, have it all ready to sign, and we'll sign it on the site. If it meets the guidelines. Yeah. So what we can do is we'll pre-approve it now, subject well, to it a successful site visit. You what would you pre-approve it as? And we can't. And, and, and for public notice, it, it would be a negative. It would be a negative two. How's it going to be negative two? Because you're in, it's a perennial stream, I think. You think? Yeah. Kev, that's a perennial stream, isn't it? It is across the street uh, near the bank. It should go up. Goes to look at the plan, I don't think it's in solid line. Okay, all right. I don't think we can, I don't think we can, I don't think we can prove it. Pre approve it. All right, well, that's if that's the, the case, let's do the site visit and we'll deal with it we'll as need be. Yeah. As, as We'll deal as it as need be. So the question still is, do we have, can we continue the meeting, continue the RDA, the question mm -hmm. of applicability, to our next meeting? So what will the name for? July 23rd. 23rd. <coughs> so we'll be skating, we will be skating uh, very close to the edge. Has the work already been done? No. No. Because they're waiting for you guys. They're waiting for you guys to determine mm -hmm. and they can go Move on and start See again, if we if we had an assistant, the assistant could go down there right now and take <coughs> care of all these little projects. Or we can't do it faster than tomorrow and then the other. Um, we can't do it under. Well, the we're the other thing is, then if we reconvene out of meeting, then we get to post a separate you meeting. Post it. That's what I mean. It. That's what I'm and saying. That's still a pain have the in the neck. On it. it doesn't matter. We don't get around it. So we could either act on it right now and, and that's what I was saying. And then we got 20 days. We had 20 days. The one was filed. We're supposed to have this acted on 20 days on RDA. But we haven't. We we didn't open the hearing last time because you weren't here. No, no, no. He wasn't here last time. No, okay. Mm -hmm. So the opening, the zero day is right now. This is the first day. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is the first day. This is the day that Tommy it's, 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 it's my fault. It's my fault. No. Kenny called me and she told me, Tommy, it was the meeting. I said, I know, I got yeah. so many clues and I oh. wanted the power plants and I couldn't make it. Yeah, no, that's all right. So then, what are, our what are the negative choices on the docket again? We, have, we never, well, we did one today. We have a two or three. Well, the other thing is, which is outlandish, is adjourn the meeting right now and go down there and take care of this right now. And reconvene? Yeah. 
We have people waiting. How many people we, do we have left on the docket now? We got uh, Forge Pond. Forge. And Kevin, what are you here for? Just here? Questions for Manny if there is any. That's all. Because I can, we can have someone, we can have people go, we can just adjourn and then we'll sit and hold the fort. Some go and we hold the fort. <coughs> yeah, I can get, this, this is getting absurd. I think we, we got to continue. We're just wasting time here. Let's, uh, so, so we're going to continue the hearing. Do we, we is that what choice. you want to do? We don't have a choice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do we have permission to continue the meeting to the next July 23rd? Is that what the meeting's 23rd, right? Yes, yes. Um, now, my question is, we're even going to have a conference on 23rd. We'll vote on the, what we the, see from the uh, site visit. Site visit. Uh, so does he have to be there on the 23rd? We don't have very many. Well, he's going to want to be here to get the uh, He needs the, the paperwork the paper because he's closing. Okay. Well, I was just trying to help with his names. I was. Say. Well, somebody. Well, 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 I somebody got my games. No, I don't no. care. I gotta give up my okay. games. How, how, how many? How many? How many? How many months did they give you? The buyer give you to get this <clears throat> job done? They give you six months to get it done. The project. Well, he no, says they're closing. No, 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 no. But closing doesn't necessarily mean they have to no, no, run out the roof. And, and I told them that that you know what I mean because there was an issue with the. What happens was Greg look at my septic system and and she said. My septic system itself is, is sound, yeah. it's good. The only problem is that maple tree. Root infiltration. Yeah. Root in yeah. My, my yeah. Root yeah. Infiltration, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Now, this is the problem. It's the only problem yeah. Yeah. Well. Work description. So, uh, what was the, do you know the diameter of the tree? Oh, I, uh, I don't remember. 20 inches. This is what he's asking for. Okay, what's it say specifically? Item. Two, project description, item 2A, work description, use additional paper and provide. Item one, maple tree. What does that say? Top. Does that say top? Removed. Maple tree removed, leach run clean because they gotta yeah. cut the line and clean the leach line. You're gonna take the, the distribution box raised. The distribution, the box collapsed like a two inches, so, so you gotta raise it, you gotta lift it. Are they gonna take the stump out or just cut the tree they out? They have to uh, take the stump out. Oh, that's gonna be a mess. Huh? That's the mess. Now, now my question is this: Do I have to do that? The stump? Am I required to remove the stump? You better ask the board of health. That's a board of health question board because health that affects question. the leach because, field. Because when I when I read my information, it says I don't have to follow all the four uh, uh, requirements to be able uh, to actually sell my house. You, you said earlier that they're, they're not using power. And a backhoe, but he no, says no, no, no. They're gonna the, the guy that the tree guy will actually climb the tree and cut the branches and remove the. Uh, uh, so uh, he's he's not Jim. cutting the whole tree. Oh, no, we're not doing the job. I know. I'm just kidding. No, we're cutting. What's we're not the cutting. Company? Who's work, who's doing your work? I don't know. Who he, Greg Everson actually got his own guy. So. But I, I, this one here says all the work required to requires to drive a backhoe and tree cutting equipment. That was in the past. So we're not, we're taking that off the, we're taking yes, that off. Yes, because that was in the, at the beginning, and then he emailed me, he says, Tommy, the good news is, we don't have to go and drive equipment to my, uh, a neighbor across the brook to be able to go and do all the work. He says, now the guy, I talk to the guy, and whoever the guy is, says he can cut the tree and just cut the tree. And, and so he wouldn't have to take the stump out. There's no stump removal at that point if you're leaving the tree. It'll rot on its own. Nobody's topping it. I think he's not killing it, right? You're just trimming it. Well, I don't know. Roots are infiltrating the leach field, correct? Or the yes. D box? Yes. So they got to obviously get rid of all that root matter. No, so we're talking about driving over my brook to get to equipment. He can drive all my lot. Mm -hmm. What well, is there a bridge okay. across the brook? Or is yes. there a little bridge? There's a bridge. There because a bridge. when I bought a house, it was a bridge. Okay. Foot bridge or something. But exactly. Uh, oh. age, age 20. I don't understand. Huh. There would be no purpose, but the thing is, in terms, there would be no purpose to trim or top the tree because that wouldn't solve the root problem. I think it's overhanging. Is it overhanging the, the that work? That has nothing to do with the tree. Maybe what they're going to do is cut the tree down.
cut the roots that are affecting the leach field and then just leaving the rest of the stump in place. That's, That's what I would say that yeah, you have to do. That would make the most the sense. the amount of disturbance you're talking about, because, I mean, remember, the size of the tree is as much as at the top as the bottom for... Mm -hmm. Well, how about, why can't we just leave that and give the... Can you, you, can't do, you can't do conditions in an RDA. Can't put a condition. Well, you could you could put put silt fence again. I think the sketch that I saw that Everson produced had mm -hmm. silt fence. You had silt fence all over the place you on, had, on the you sketch. Got an email? Yes, I, you? I don't know. I got it from Everson about three weeks ago. Now, now my email said that all the four requirements doesn't have to be fulfilled to be able to actually do the the work. But now they didn't specify exactly which one actually is gonna be in a bin. So I don't know, maybe, maybe they said they're gonna leave the stuff. Is the is the tree do we know if the tree oh, you know, you know Bill, do you remember if the plant had the tree in the wetland or was it a No the tree was right next to the leach field, I believe. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's in that little triangular area. Yes. Because uh, such a such a, a, a tiny, you know, It's a very space. tiny leach field. Exactly. They couldn't do, they had to do unusual triangle. Yeah, it's a triangular septic. leach field. The septic exactly. system is a triangle. So exactly. a line, a line, a line, a line. And I, guess, and I guess the pipe, the leach line itself goes like 75 feet around. Mm -hmm. okay. Pump system. Yes. Pump system. All right. Well, let's try to get out there. You're going to go tomorrow? Let's go tomorrow then and see what we can do. That's all. 645? Yeah, agreed. Okay. I always, I, you know, in my head, I ask myself the question if this is the design, if you design something and you're allowed to build it, you're going to know that the, the septic system fails, everything, equipment fails, you're going to be able to bring equipment and fix the problem. Yep. If you can't do that, don't design that. Okay, well said, Thomas. Okay, look, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very good. Very good. Thank you. Call Greg. Call Greg. I will. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Okay. So. Thank you. So, 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 what's the next step? We'll be there at six forty-five. We'll be there at six forty-five tomorrow. If you're now, do you need me? No. We need your um. Greg. Can you get the yeah? Is it Everson? Greg. Greg Everson has to be there. I, I think that would make it move faster yeah. for the project. Because if he knows more specifically what it is they're yeah. going to be doing, we need the specifics as the tree. He would clarify it I, The plan mm -hmm. needs to be, um, so what we need is clarification to, are they removing the stump? Are they removing just the areas into the system? Exactly. So we need to know that, how much of the tree are they removing? Trimming branches over makes no sense. So that, you know what I mean? Like, I need to know specifically what we're looking at. But, but it sounds like... As, like, as I said, in, in my email, you know, they were sending emails, it said that not all the four requirements has to be fulfilled to be able to do the job. To get so, it done. But then again, they didn't specify which one. So which one is it? Right. It's probably... Do we have to remove the It's probably specific case situation. All right, let's, let's move on, folks. So, uh, yeah, we got other people to go. So, 6.45 tomorrow? Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes. Do you need me? No. Okay. No. no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. Okay, go right. ahead. Right. Next. Next. Two, two, two. We're running behind, but that's okay. Um, do we have um, the flam here today? No, we got this one here. Uh, I know, can we just close oh, yeah, this one yes. out? Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Move it along. So we're just going to do one quick... Oh, this quote. is Kevin, uh, this is Dennis Laflamme, Kev, your NOI. Okay. You want to discuss that briefly? Yep. Or you discussed and I'll discuss, so go ahead. Um, Dennis Laflamme is at 499 East State Street. We have not had a file on yet. Mark has got some questions. We're in the process of getting the elevation certificate. The surveyor has been on site twice. Um, that's um, Cook, Rich Cook. And that's what Mark needs to issue the new file. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, the 1980 flood map, which we're still using, the yeah. big, the big floodway and, and FEMA and firm maps show you to be in a zone A. The whole place is in a zone A. A3. Oh yeah, I see that. So we're, so we're waiting for more paperwork. 
Yes. The, okay. the, the only thing that's of use is the um, cross section, which I think was tributary I or some goofy thing. Yeah. Cross section B at tributary I showed the elevation, the 100 year flood to be at 270.3 and 270.6, whether or not you're in the floodway or not. So if uh, Cook can come up with an elevation higher than that for the proposed site, you're yeah. in good shape. Otherwise, you've got comp storage going on. Is, is this a new dwelling? No, the house was built in 1992, oh. had a fire, rebuilt in 95. It's the one, when you go out. It's the post and beam, isn't it? Yes. The red one? Yeah, the yeah. red one. Yeah. Wasn't that permitted it's before? Almost yes. just thinking about it. Thinking it's, about it, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's there easier. must have been a, a previous yeah. order of conditions on this. Not that I'm aware of. Really? Yeah. Yep, nobody knows. Oh, it's a little yeah. delayed. Just give it oh, a second. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, so good. There's the property in here. Right. Nice. Come on, please. And when they built the house, they did raise the furnace up, supposedly outside of above. The I remember that because I've been in that yeah. house. I did some structural work on that house yeah. many, many, many years ago. Yeah. Oh, they were talking about this last week. Anyway, the big concern of Stinson is the floodplain, right. not, ne not necessarily whether or not there's a riverfront issue, which I don't think is a, a, a real key issue here, but the flood issue is the key issue. Okay. So we're yeah. going to continue? Please. Yes. Do we have a motion? Move, move to continue. Next Second. meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So Cookie's going to have it done by, uh, and I was telling I, I Eddie that today. there's a... Uh, Eddie knows this yeah, too. A there's, a, there's a reference yeah, mark. Down, there's uh, a good reference mark about here. Yes, it's uh, yeah. RM11. Yep, it is. It's on the it bridge, is. I thought. Yep. Uh, well, I think it's on the fence uh, before. Uh, it's on the property owned by, it used to be Falk, Frank Falk. You know that name? Frank. Anyway. And so it's right there on the, on the corner, it's on a high point, and it's 20 feet off the road. But the thing is, you set the transit up and just take two shots and you're done. So why doesn't he do this? Take like a half an hour. I don't know. He's been out there twice. Hmm. <coughs> I don't know. This is what it is. Yeah, so it is. That's right. yeah. we still have to do a site visit anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to continue to the next meeting. And For what it's worth, the Google elevations, which, Ed, are they, in your opinion, plus or minus one foot, two yeah, foot? Two. Yeah. Google elevations seem to support your contention there's, there's that you're okay. some areas that when you get into a wooded area, all bets are off. Okay. When it's open space like that, the, the, the elevation is usually pretty close, plus or minus a foot. But you've got to be more accurate in this application. Oh, of course, of course. Dave, have you found the Google Earth elevations are fairly useful for what you do? I don't trust them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have you checked with <coughs> FEMA for a letter of map amendment on this pro property? I don't believe that one has. I think there's six or seven amendments. That is not one no. of them. Okay. You so know what the amendments are? They're normally the ones around Forge Pond. Those have the amendments on them. Oh. And I can ask uh, the server. Yeah, actually, I think I've got. Do I have? Yeah, I might have some of those on this. All right. Hold on. Okay, good. Hmm. Yeah, here. Is that it? No. If they're in a flood zone, they have a mortgage. Do they have flood insurance? Not. I suspect they don't have a mortgage. Sure. So you don't need flood insurance at that point. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just protects the bank. Yeah, it's nothing right. to do with you, it's the bank. You don't see any floodgates on the flood doors. Well, you know, that's another thing. If you're below, you, you have to do comp storage. You may also have to do flood, uh, flood doors, too. Yeah. You know, I mean, the House of Vendors in 32. Yeah. All right, well, we'll, okay. we'll deal we'll with it. We'll see what we have. Yep. On. Okay, Kev, yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank oh, you. we're down to the last one of the night. Yep. That, that house on Amherst Street is, is uh, 48, not 50, you said 50, 49 or something. It's on the east side of the street. What number is it? Um, what are you talking about? Um, Mazes. I think it was 259. 258. Oh, 258. Yeah, okay, yeah, 258. Sure. Okay. Yeah, right. okay. Or 258. Yeah, I think yours is right. No, I'm pretty sure I got it wrong. We are now down to the last oh, evening. Yeah. So we have a. Did you tell them what I was typing? Get 
really bad acoustics in this. This room has like the worst acoustics ever. You get a headache. You, you know we could put in some of those acoustical clouds to kind of attenuate things. Put some blankets and, in the ceiling. Yes. Yeah. And some internet. Thank you. And a All right, Kevin. Thank you. And a, okay. and a Last one is the uh, Mike Pio's Lazy Boy reclining. And a secretary. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have uh, Mike Pio's going to continue. Well, we got we got oh, Dave. Oh, I know that. Gonna, yeah. You want me to continue, Mike Pio, just to move? Yeah, on? yeah. Let's do that. And then we'll finish yeah. up with Dave for the night. Well, what time is it? I move we continue Mike Pio uh, Munsing Ridge until the 23rd of July. Second. All in favor? Aye. Bingo. All right. Now the. Tom and Grammy. All right, let me read my little statement. Dave, we know you're being paid hourly, so you're being paid handsomely for handsomely. your time, so that's, that's fine. You're being paid handsomely for your time. So we're going to continue yeah, the right. RDA filed by the Town of Granby Select Board to see whether the work to print and plan reference the subject of the Wetlands Protection Act with regards to property located at Ford Pond and Dyke School Street, known as Map 14 Lat Lot B 6 in that, in that glorious Town of Granby. Well, I guess we're trying to get some progress to get the town to be able to go in and do the do the tree clearing that they planned. And uh, I guess we're what's the next step? <laughs> Have they let out the contract for the tree cutting? I okay. Well, let me let me, yeah. let me just let me just let you know my position. Okay. Uh, l l let me just preface. I think. Getting the permit from us is the least of anyone's worries, believe me. It's the least of anyone's worries. Well, so go ahead. The, I, I think I've, I've got to the point, I'm, I'm doing, doing the town a favor, and I, when I address the town, I, I'm assuming it would be the Conservation yeah. Commission and the town proper itself. Uh, I'm not getting paid for anything that I've been doing. I filed the, the permit for the Office of Dam Safety, and I did the RDA because I, I heard through the, I guess, the kind of the grapevine that, that, that uh, there was going to be some need for a permit. So I got the paperwork in for this RDA, brought it in to, the, to Kathy ahead of time so that it could be published for your, for your meeting two meetings ago. Somehow or other, it didn't get published. It continued it from then to the, to the last meeting Last meeting got continued because you wanted to have a site visit, but nobody scheduled a site visit. So now we're scheduling a site visit, so we're going into the third continuance through, I guess, I'm not sure what the, what, what, what the uh, I, I guess the situation is that, uh, I guess it's a, it's a beneficial project for the town. It's going to help them get their dam, uh, you know, basically at least one step toward, you know, progressing towards a, with the order that the Office of Dam Safety has. And uh, uh, it, two years ago when, when the order was issued and the Conservation Commission had a site visit and went out there and looked at it, let's get it done. So it was, there was a discussion about having the town do the work, but they didn't have the money at the time. So mm -hmm. now they, approach, they went through the appropriation process, they have the money, and we're in this quagmire of, of bureaucratic only in Massachusetts, Dave, only you know that. Yes. <laughs> only in Mass. <laughs> only in Mass. Wait, so are you going to re-site visit something that's already been site visited? But when we originally site visited, we didn't realize they needed a wetland permit to do what they're doing. Anyway, that's beside the point. So we're going to go out there tomorrow. Here's the, here's the question. S Mark Stinson and I talk relatively frequently, and I talk with Fowlers frequently, too. If, if the trees are in the stream proper, not on the bank, not behind the dam, but in the stream, in the flow path of the, of the waterway proper, in accordance with DEP regulation, that actually requires an NOI. However, however. The only trees that are in the are yeah. growing on the yeah. stones. Yeah. The yeah. That, that's, that's why we're going to do the site visit tomorrow, to see if this is a de minimis, what we call a de minimis situation. That is one that is you that can kind of squeeze. Is this is the, the house that's over there. No, I know. I know. That's true. Yes. So those are pictures of Are they there. on this side? Yeah. 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 Okay. I know Any, anyway, anyway, we, we want to try to be able to argue the case that you can really do this under an RDA and not violate the regulation. That's the point. Where's your concern of over violation? I just, got that, I just got the RDA yesterday, 
And so I haven't even had a chance to look at it yet. So I know you said you submitted it three weeks ago, and I just found a better copy as well. Yeah. Well, I, I, I sent an email to Kathy Leonard. I said, look at it. I said, last meeting I attended. Dave, send us a bill. Dave, send us a bill. It. Yeah, I know. I didn't have it. I didn't, and she, and at, when I handed it, delivered it to her, she said she was going to send it out immediately. So you I know what I would do? Send us a bill. We got some money. I'm what do you guys think? I'm not sending anybody a bill. Send, so send us a I'm, bill. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do something to you know, try to help, help out in the process. And, and you, you know the old adage, no good, good deed goes, goes unpunished. unpunished. <laughs> I guess the only thing here uh, that, I mean, to look at, and I'm not looking at you know, the pressure of the situation, is, is the town has a contractor with, that submitted a price to do the work, ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, if you require an NOI, I don't oh, know. I know. I That's good. Cool. Yeah, I know. I hear you. Instead, I hear you. It's dead for six to eight yeah. months, even, yeah. if you had, even if I was going to prepare tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, that means the town loses the price they have. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know so, what happens to the money. Uh, and, and okay, can I just... Uh, all right. So you want to... Are you going to remove everything from the tree or just cut the growth itself and leave the, rock, the stump? The stumps are staying in place for another project. But the, 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 there's, there has to be some major uh, renovations of the dam. Okay. Right now, nobody knows what, what to do with right. the dam. Cause there, there has so you're looking at removing this one and a couple of And just there. hope the uh, roots don't rot out in the meantime. The Office of Dam Safety has a policy of every, anything within 20 feet of it, mm -hmm. any struck portion of the structure of the dam. Mm -hmm. uh, so that you're, you're looking at a, 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 you know everything that's that's concrete there 20 feet away. Okay. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, it could theoretically strike the dam during the rainstorm. The, uh, the dam itself uh, on both sides of the, uh, the channel where the concrete work is. But can't you do an emergency in this situation, though, when you consider the condition? Can't we can't we move around it due to the fact that, I mean, there is a way to go around well, it. Well, an emergency would be pursuant to an NOI. But I think Dave's trying to avoid the NOI by I just know. doing a simple RD. Well, you know, I think there's enough precedent. I mean, I, I've done over the past... In between my career with a consultant and doing mm -hmm. these probably 50, 60 RDAs that cover this, and, and, and even Mark, and, and recently, uh, you know, Mark Stinson has, has been involved in, in the decision to say, okay, the RDA is fine to do it. And he said it uh, for tree clearing, leaving the stumps, and, and saving. Any so the project. tree clearing, in terms of what equipment is the is the proposed bidder offering to use it? What is he using? Well, unfortunately, Dave Roche, or DPW superintendent, has all those details. And, and see, see, this is this is the problem with doing RDAs. We have no control over the means and methods of construction. If they did, not not to talk us into an, an NOI, Dave, but the NOI would have construction sequencing and equipment and protocol, and if A doesn't work, you do B. It would have all that different sequencing. RDAs don't carry sequencing. That's the well, problem. Well, I've done, I've done many of them where yeah. there has been conditions added to the RDA. Yeah. Why can't yeah. you do that? I'd be, ha I'd be happy to do that. Would you guys be I willing mean, to do that? I ask them to do it. In RDA, we can't force them to do things. We can still ask them yeah. to do things. Mm -hmm. But but the problem is if you ask a contractor to do something and they're not required to do it, you know, <laughs> yeah. you're in the business yeah. now. Amanda's oh, in the business. Oh, Amanda's in the business. We know yeah. what happens. Oh, well, it's so supervised by Dave. Dave is Dave will be supervising from DPW over those trees. Now. That's, uh, you know, I guess we could actually write that into the RDA. She'll be supervised under David DeRocher PE. I mean, I Do you think, think Dave really wants that responsibility? Well, I'm though? not saying the responsibility. Yeah. I'm just saying that if, if if there's something that's not right, and you have somebody from the town watching it, do we have a copy? We can of stop. Of what? I have it on my there's computer. no good. There's no good chain of command. That's you the problem. I, I, gave, I just I want to see the. Copy to the it just because it doesn't have Wi-Fi. It keeps disconnecting. Here. Listen, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go to the job site tomorrow. Take a look at what needs to be done. Maybe it's much ado about nothing, and maybe it's a no-brainer. Are the trees marked? No, they have. They have a place in the jungle with all the growth there. So the mark is always a problem. You're going to have to wear your Tyvek suit and your net mosquito net. Tick. 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 Oh, yeah. Deer, deer flies and mosquitoes. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, that, and that's why it was marked twice last night, because it 
there's a window that's very visible. So that, 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 that's why you took these photos in March, which is right. smart. Well, yeah, no, that's, yeah, I saw them on the phone. They, yeah. they did, yeah. See, yeah. Kathy did send it over. Yeah. Um, if I took them out, I would see. I know, no, no, I no. Let's go. Let's go out and see. Do you know? Do you know if the uh, town sent out our request for proposal for the tree cutting, and if there were certain guides, certain things in that request? Well, for unfortunately, proposal. without Dave here, I don't know. See, that's the problem. Process. They put an RFP out with no specifications. It's an well, open. That's what I'm asking. That, see, that's the point. Which means they go in there with whatever equipment they want and just rip the place apart. Well, I guess we don't know that. Too. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, again, Dave is not. Not here to, to speak for this. Well, uh, see, if we had if a hand in writing the RFP. If you give a negative determination, and in that determination, it's based upon the fact that it's all hand work, no, pow, no backhoes, no pulling, no this, and they do it, then, the, then the, they're in violation. But here's the problem then we do an enforcement on ourselves, and that's absurd. We're doing it on the contractor. The contractor has a responsibility to do it properly. And if it was processed, you can't you can't issue an enforcement order against a contractor. We have no leverage over a contractor. Okay. He's, well, just gonna, he's just going to he's just going to quit. Saying, the RFP. That's right. The only thing we can do to the contractor is not pay the guy, stiff the guy. That's the only thing we can do, and it's not fair either. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, that's why you know. That's the weird thing about the town taking out its own permits. That's the weird, you know. Again, we we have to at this point. So let's go do the site visit. Then we'll talk about it tomorrow, Dave. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you for coming. I have to be picking up my grandson no later than quarter. Okay. Don't worry. We'll be there. Yeah. 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 All right. So we're going to go to 258. Is it 258 Amherst Street or 259? 258. 258, um, and then we're going to go right down to Dave's place. I have a quick question. Uh, with the trees, with regards to the RDA and everything, are the trees on that ledge outcrop like the most significant thing we're trying to, like the hurdle we're going uh, for right now? Well, the, the, or is it all the trees? In, uh, in 20, 20, feet 20 feet from feet. the edge of the structure, all, all of the you know, okay. perimeter around it. But you have marked the trees in the fields? I haven't, I, they're not marked now. They were marked two years ago, but right now it's such a jungle, and it's, it's yeah. going to be a major job to do it. Uh, uh, and then you're not going to see it unless you get in there with a machete to, to be looking. And uh, so, I mean, you're going to go out there, you're going to, you know, basically, you know, kind of envision, okay, a swatch 20 feet from the, from the concrete wall here out, you know, all around the structure of both the dike and the, and the dam is what's, what's yeah. what needs to be clear. And, and again, uh, you know, all the stumps and, and root systems are going to stay in place. I'm, yeah. I'm not, see, I'm not personally, as a, as a tree person, I'm actually not as concerned as everyone else is because in terms of how I would do the project, leaving, when you're leaving all the stumps in place, you're, you're as long as we're not talking larger equipment and we're talking, you know, because if you're talking that amount of overgrowth, you're not going to be driving. Like, I want to make sure that, like, I'm not seeing a bobcat go in there with what's called a sh I have a set of shears. Like I have a, a hydric, you know, what do you call it? Um, my brain's tired right now. But oh, I is have, it on the bobcat? I have a bobcat attachment yeah. where I can literally drive in and just cut oh. like saplings. Oh. Oh. But the amount of movement around and then heavy machinery, like yeah. if you're talking smaller stuff, I'm serious, like you're not talking majors. It's just slash cut and leave. Yeah. Just to get but the, there probably will be some big ones. There are some big ones. A lot, uh, over on the, the channel for the uh, for these uh, dike, there are some big ones along the edge of that uh, uh, area. Mm. Yeah. So to find big. I mean, of my concept of big. Yeah. Your concept of yeah, bigger. Big is forty-eight inch oak. Is it a forty-eight inch oak? Probably like, not that big. No, that's uh, no, we're not doing. Also, there's a lot of dead, just dead brush around the uh, the channel. Up yeah. by the uh, the spillway structure, there's. There's a, a couple of hefty ones. But, you know, but hefty, you're talking more than four diameter, more like, we're talking beyond like saplings, two, two feet in diameter. Uh, I, I think there's probably something in the range of 12 inch, uh, uh, you know, a few in that range. Right, but you, when you look at something with the growth, you're still not dealing with something like in a yard where you have the ability to be what's called, you know, fully, uh, how do you say that? Uh, my brain, so I have a full crown to it. My brain's so tired at this time of the day. <laughs> Been too much heat. I, I mean, overly, most of the concerns that I have are, are very simple. And, and most of it has to do with the, the, my, the use of what machinery. I'm actually less concerned about which trees and more concerned about how. 
because I mean, how is something that if I had the plan before me of what the who bid and what their bid was, that actually matters more to me because if you bid low and you have someone going in there with a bobcat yeah, and the shears true. and then just cutting clear, true. that's actually a lot more damaging to mm -hmm. what I call um, possibly compromised concrete structures. Right. Yeah. Than it is if I'm going in there and the stipulation is I'm going in there and doing it with you know minimally invasive technique. So, so this RFP, who crafted the RFP, Dave? Did Chris Martin, Martin Dave, DeRocher. or DeRocher? But he didn't consult us. So no. what Patty and Amanda are saying, they should have probably consulted us well, as to the language. Well, the, the only concern about the language I have is is regarding you know what kind of equipment is used to do it. I'm actually less concerned about the stumps because. I could shred it. I, I cleared a lot up in Springfield with a bobcat and I literally went through there and um, you'd be surprised what I, and all I was doing was clearing out, you know, we're talking not more than a foot. We're talking a mixture of pine, some smaller oaks, maybe some scrub, nest, like, you know, just overgrowth and, and a lot. And literally we're talking about, I would say at least two feet of soil disturbance below and we left the stumps intact like left them intact and it looks like a bomb in there. Yeah. So my yeah. only concern is the method of, of removal, um, not so much where, but what method of removal, because yeah, you can get a low bit in there and I appreciate the town wants to save money, but then we're left cleaning the mess. Where does that, where does that discharge to? The discharge on uh, Bachelor Brook, doesn't it Dave? Right. Which means you'd send a lot of sediment. I think the issue is you're sending sediment down the brook. Well, it does. I guess anything that's going to be like on the rocks there, I mean, yeah. somebody's going to climb in with a chainsaw yeah. and, and pull it so out. So you're gonna, they're going to have to put some sort of sediment barrier in the in the river. Oh, no, they, well, they, there won't be any disturbance for, for sediment. I mean, if the tree, you know, like the stump, the stump there. so there's no intention of having disturbance. I mean, yeah, there, I, there is wording in the uh, the RDA about any disturbed areas, I and mean, there may be some scuffing here and there, but you know, mulch it and seed it and put down a, an erosion uh, okay. uh, mat. But your plan didn't stipulate that you were going to use minimally invasive techniques. I mean, generally when you're working on any stream, whenever I have any forms that I've done, I've always mentioned the use of, there's a special pads that you can put down that ensure for protection of the surface below. Yeah, I use swamp mat. Well, not just swamp mat. Well, they have like all kinds. They have but a bit. It's typically... It's a kind it's of a small coconut, coconut, coconut mat or something. So I've yeah. always used mats. I don't see any. I don't see any usage of mats during the time. I don't see any ban of mm -hmm. any larger uh, mm -hmm. equipment um, because it. You know, if there are they for some of the larger trees, are you going to be setting up with a bucket truck and pulling in there? Are we going to be? I know what you're saying. So Dave's saying cutting the trees down is a very simple, clean process, but getting the equipment in there to do the if work, you're telling me that's it's where the damage, that's where I'm the damage is going to I'm not talking about happen. the trees. I'm talking about the amount of getting, growth to get yeah, the equipment in there. To get the in equipment there. in there. I see what you're saying. I'm, I'm talking sense. process. Yes. That makes process. good sense. That makes and, good I mean, sense. And I'm not the one, I don't have the job. I mean, I'm not, yeah. I'm not part of the bid yeah. pool. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I can't yeah. have you see what You see what she's pointing at? I wish I had more information. Yeah. And that's my, if I had, because I'll be honest with you, if I had had the, the bid and I had what they were going to do, I don't need to do a site visit to look at it because I could tell you whether or not it would have been invite. Like I would have known based on the equipment. So if they're using Bobcats and they're going to be using basically a, it's almost like a shearing equipment. It, a, it's a log clears, but it's a small scale one. I use them all the time because it's easier when you're doing a lot clear. The tires on them, are they going to be using tracks? Are you not going to be using tracks? Are you going to use pads? Are, when you're doing this, because the soil disturbance will be about a foot to more deep. I mean, I, to my discussion with Dave, uh, Northern, I guess, is the, the, the low bidder, and, and you know they plan on using their, their, their mm -hmm. cherry pickers that have some pretty long reaches uh, yep. uh, to be able to get in there and do stuff. Because I mean, access is a problem. I mean, it, yeah. you know, but I, 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 I'm telling you, access is a problem, and you have to consider the size of the equipment. Like, I, that's the only. If I'd had the specs and the size, I could have told you right off the bat. Because I, I can, I can agree with you there. I, I mean, unfortunately, I without Dave here, I'm at a loss. Oh, that's, that's not your. I don't. I don't hold you responsible okay. for that. But when I, if I'm doing something where I know that you're asking for uh, basically grace, I would, I would expect the plan to be far more detailed in terms of just, hey, here's what the person is going to do for the bid. Because I know how to low bid, and I know what a low bid can look like on the other end, and we could have a mess, and that mess will land on us legally.
for, for saying we trusted someone to do that? Well, what the low bidder is, if there's a pissing match that ensues, the low bidder is going to say there was no specific plan no or specification. So we yeah. did what we thought was best based on the finances, and it just happened to rip the place apart. So that's, that's their game. Yeah. So, I'm just considered devil advocate so, because I know so how. So shame I on us. Shame on the commission. They're going to say that. They're going to say, well, you didn't say I had to use protective yeah, mats. Right. Well, You're going to say I didn't have to use. Um, in, in his application, he says work description on uh, Appendix B and C, and uh, C is basically talks about removing woody vegetation, trees, saplings, but cutting to ground, I think four inches, anything at four inches or less, cut to ground level, Yep. leave stumps in place, yep. all disturbed areas as they occur from tree, as they occur from the tree, remove, tree removal activity will be seeded and erosion mat or mulch placed over the area to prevent erosion until temporary grass growth is established. Right. Well, but, that, so, but that's the end process. That's, that's the, the end, end process. process. Yeah, I understand. It's not the means and methods. That's the I spent problem. two days. I spent two days in, in Springfield, by the way, on a project that needed a DEP number on it because their decision was that they were going to let us wreck it and then put the erosion control after we went in there. And trust me, it was they didn't so, get specifics in. It was what, a mess. The method would. The methodology is going to be what going in there with hand chainsaws by hand. Well, that's and cherry tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to walk the site and come up with we'll a up. I'll, I'll walk it. We'll walk it, we'll walk it tomorrow. We'll walk it tomorrow. I just, my only concern is that I got some guy at a low bid going in there. And I, you know, I, you know, I know the companies. And you know, North, Northern's a big, pro that's a production Even company. They have a that's plan a production with company. Specifications. They don't always follow that's right. That's the right. paperwork. That's right. That's so right. if there's nothing for them to go off of, they're just going to do what they want. Or that's why we need. That's why we need concrete, a supervisor so when they're doing the job. Yeah. And whether it's Dave or somebody from DPW. I just don't want to be responsible yeah. for a mess. But it also be helpful if they had our input, whoever is supervising. Right. But oh no, definitely. Good discussion, Troy. Yeah, so Very good discussion. Tomorrow, tomorrow. at six fifteen. Six fifteen. Okay. Yeah, David. You thank you for by six thirty. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I need to be out of there. Yeah, I know. Okay, you will. No, that's fine because we have to yeah. be somewhere else at <laughs> yeah. pretty five. That's perfect. That'll keep us moving. It'll keep us very on task. Yeah. All right. Very good. We'll Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dory. Good to see so you. So we're continuing that to yep. the next meeting, and hopefully by then we can have something for the town to. So we have a motion to continue. I make a motion to continue. I got a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have anything else? I think we're done. Yep. Make a motion to adjourn. Do we have a motion adjourn. to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Done.